I'm about to show you how to use Google Keywords Planner for free to get more views on YouTube, so stay tuned. Welcome back to Minded Marketing. Now, today I'm finally going to show you how I use Google Ads for free to get more views on YouTube, and that is by using Google's Keyword Planner for free. Now, I've seen the comments and the messages on Reddit and on Discord, and everyone is asking the same thing. Afro, do you have to create a campaign? Do you have to pay? And the answer is, of course, no. However, Google is really good at hiding this secret from regular users. Uh, but for those of us who have been in the digital marketing niche, we know what's up. So I decided to make a video to finally walk you guys through the entire process, showing you how to sign up, get access to Google's ads tools, completely for free. So let's get started. Okay guys, so here we are on Google Ads. Now this is pretty easy to find, you just go onto Google and Google it. But if you guys want a link in the description, I can go ahead and leave a link. Anyways, so I'm gonna walk you guys through the whole process. I'm gonna be using a brand new account and everything. I already have two Google accounts, so I don't wanna use one of my email addresses to set this up. Uh, so I'm going to be using something called a temporary email address. It's something that a lot of people don't even know exists. Uh, so basically, you can just go on to Google and Google temporary email address and you'll find whatever. Uh, it's There's a bunch of sites. If you don't know, a temporary address is just something that you can use to sign up for something and then eventually in the future it'll just disappear. <laughs> um, we use it a lot in the marketing and digital marketing uh, world. A lot of people don't know that you can actually do this. So I don't know if I'm spilling some tea right now. But anyways, uh, I just use Tempmail because, I mean, I've used it in the past. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this uh, email address. It's, like I said, temporary, it's not mine. Go on over back to Google and start the sign up process. Okay, so when you get onto Google Ads, you go ahead and push start now. Okay, so here you're gonna paste in this um, well, I'm going to paste in this temporary address, but please, if you are going to be using Google and using their SEO tools in the long term, then you're going to definitely want to use one of your own real email addresses. I'm only using this temporary address because I already have two and I do not want to create a new account that I'm going to have to keep up with. So basically, I'm going to have to change my page because it's in French. Okay, so you come into this sign in. Uh, now you don't have an account, so you're gonna go ahead and put create account for myself or to manage my business. It really doesn't matter, but I'm gonna say for myself. You go ahead and put your last name, your first name and last name. Please use your real information, but for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to be using my nickname, which is Afro. Go ahead and paste in my email address make a password okay so you're going to have to verify your email address now you should be normally getting this to your inbox i'm actually going to be getting it in my temporary inbox so as you can see head on over to temp mail i didn't close the page i just left it there and here's the email that they sent i'm going to verify it so it says verify this email is yours you're going to have to put in this code into Google Ads. I'm going to head back into Google Ads. Enter the code. Verify. Alright, uh, first thing you're going to have to do uh, for security is add a phone number. So I'm going to go ahead and add a phone number uh, off camera. Okay, so I put in my phone number and my date of birth off camera. Um, but then you go and click next and you get over to their privacy in terms of service. I've already read all this about 300 times, but you can go ahead and read that and then I agree. All right guys, so this is where a lot of people come to first and they get completely shambled. I literally had someone sending me messages on Messenger telling me I have to pay, they're telling me that I have to run campaigns, blah, blah, blah. No, you do not, okay? Remember what I told you, Google is really good at keeping this a secret. They do not tell you that you can actually use this thing for free. Now, if you want to run ads, this is the platform that you're going to be using and this is the page where you're going to be setting it up. However, what you want to do is go on over down here. Do you see this fine print right here? ask if you are a professional marketer. I know you're not, <laughs> but you're going to click switch to expert mode, okay? All right, and once you do, you're going to come over to a page that looks like this. 
don't freak out go on down click create an account without a campaign okay so now you're going to come to a page that says confirm your business information again do not freak out <laughs> all you have to do is choose a billing country choose a time zone choose a currency okay you don't have to click any of these and then you click submit all right congrats you're all done so you basically just bypass the whole campaigns and ad creations and setting up payments and all that stuff you now officially have a Google Ads account. What we're gonna do next is click Explore Account. Here you go. Now again, this page is going to be a little intimidating. Okay, you see it says, let's start by creating a campaign, ad groups for your business. If you're not into running campaigns and marketing, you're probably gonna have no idea what they're talking about, okay? And that's fine, guess what? You don't need to know. What you're gonna do is you're gonna come all the way up here. Okay, go ahead and click Tools. Once you click tools, you're gonna to go down to planning and right there, this is the golden nugget guys, keyword planner. And congratulations guys, you have just created your Google Ads account completely for free and now have full access to their Google keyword planner. So you made it all the way through, as you can see, it's actually a lot easier and quicker than a lot of people think. Now you guys know that I love using this tool. It is my secret weapon on YouTube. You've seen me do the walkthrough. I can go ahead and do a quick search just to show you what you're getting here. So if you, you click discover new keywords, you go ahead and change language, change the country to whatever you're targeting. For me, it's the United States, England, Canada, Australia, basically English speaking countries. For the sake of this video, I'll just take the US and then I'll put in, for example, any random keyword that I'm looking for for my video. So if I were doing a Resident Evil video, click get results and it will pull up all the information about average monthly searches, the keyword competition. This, this information is more for if you're gonna be running ads and doing bids and paying. This is what you're gonna to wanna to look at. However, I just basically focus on these three when it comes to YouTube. Um, one thing I do like to do is I like to go up here and this is information for the last year. I like to look at the past month, what's been popping, you know? And here you have Resident Evil. You have about 100,000 to 1 million searches of this uh, every month, and it's a low competition keyword on Google. So this is actually a nice place to start if you want to make a video about Resident Evil and you're looking for some ideas. You can also get your tags from this, which I do all the time. And then from here, you want to go on to something like TubeBuddy or vidIQ if you're using that. I'm more of a TubeBuddy person. And then, you know, work around that to get an SEO title, an SEO score that works for you. Now, I have been helping a lot of YouTubers on Discord, Reddit, and Facebook. So if you feel like this whole SEO process is a bit too much for you or you don't have the time, I have actually set up a gig on Fiverr. This is mainly for small YouTubers who want me to help them with their SEO. So if you want me to optimize your title tags and descriptions for you, then you can go ahead and click the link below and I can do that on Fiverr. Now if you want a full walkthrough of how I use this tool to get low competition keywords that help me rank on YouTube and Google, then I suggest you click the videos over on your right to see that. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, it really helps support this channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.